Hello and welcome to the 14th tutorial on how to make a game in gaming, uh, X and A. And in this tutorial we're going to continue uh, finishing the pathfinding. Right now it's a little bit, uh, the enemy acts a little bit weird and I'm going to fix that right now. Actually we're going to get rid of this timer. So I'm just going to comment all this stuff out right here. And leave the queue timer. Then right down here on the move destination, no not on the move, where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah. No. no it is the move destination. Okay. Yeah, on the move destination part, uh where remember okay, this is actually what we used to have. It used to be like this. That's how it used to be, but now we want it like this. Uh we want to put path Actually, we don't have to put path equals null. Path index equals zero. Destination equals position. Actually, equals uh. Actually, I'm just gonna copy paste. That's pretty much what we gonna have, except for that. So path index equals zero, destination equals position, queued equals false, destination actually we don't need this destination. Destination equals man dot man dot position, and then you set the path. So that's pretty much it. And then for this you want to put else if path dot count is greater than zero. So this is basically saying if the pound uh, if the path if path index uh, excuse me. If the path path index is smaller than the path count, um, it's not smaller, which basically means once it's done finishing the path, and it, there actually is stuff in the path, this, then we're gonna do this, which is basically the same exact thing. Path index. You can just copy and paste that thing we just made, which is this, and then just add path equals null. So what this basically does is just these uh, two pieces of code is it basically just uh, finds a new path. So this is what it does. Uh, right now the path at default is set to null and so when it first goes into this method and it finds oh the path is set to null. Oh yeah actually we want return here. Yeah there we go. It's going to reset the path index, reset queued, reset uh, set the destination to the to the player, and then set its path or find a new path. So same thing if it finishes the path. So that's what we want. Another thing we want to do is uh, when our enemy, if it barely cuts a corner, it basically just stops. So we don't want that, and it most likely is going to avoid all walls. So. Uh, we, don't, we don't have to override this push to method, so we can actually just get rid of this whole push to method. But what I'm going to do, just in case we need it, is just comment out this is statement. That's it. So now, what we have is our enemy. Come on, enemy. enemy for some reason doesn't want to follow us. Okay, uh, the reason why it's not working is it's not greater than it. If it's greater than or equals zero, it's going to do this. So, actually no, that, yeah. Actually, we can just put here, or if path, actually it doesn't really matter. Now, as you can see, it follows us, it, except it freezes once it gets to the edge. And the reason for that is, it's, uh, when it gets to the edge, it starts uh, searching through non-existing cells, so it starts to error out.
Okay, so uh, actually, it doesn't really. It's not super accurate. So, oops. One thing to make it more accurate is to go to enemy, uh, step to point, and pathfinder. Where it says pathfinder dot grid size, just divide that by like four or something. We can almost divide that by eight. Oops. So that's pretty much your pathfinding. How we doing on time? Not bad. Oh god. Okay, there we go. So, okay, let's go over uh, collisions with bullets. So, okay, so now we're gonna have a. Uh, so this is the collision, collision of wall. Collision with walls. Now we're gonna have collision with uh, enemies. Enemies. And we're just going to change this to an enemy now. We're not only going to put alive to equal false, but we're going to make, oh, let's see. Actually, let's go into our object class, and let's let's uh, add on to this collision event. So I'm going to copy this I mean, collision method. So I'm going to copy that whole collision method and put a new one. And this is going to return a object. And this new object, and then it's going to return. Uh, oh, there we go. So what this will do is something collides with it. It will return the object that it collides with. I wonder if there's a way just not to include any, anything. So include return null. No, I can't do that. Okay, I guess I have to return something. Okay, why is it giving us an error? Oh, right. We need to define it between the, which method we're referring to. So, object. Let's see, what things do we not need? We don't really need this, so I'm just going to do that. And get rid of this and that. So basically, it's not going to find the offset. It's just going to find a collision with an object and then return the object to collides with. So that's useful for our bullet. So uh, let's see. We're not going to need this right there. Okay. What? Oh yeah. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So if, and then just say uh, object O equals if O dot equal, if O dot get type equals type of enemy. So we're basically saying, is the type of thing that we collide with an enemy? An enemy type. What? Okay. Let's see. New enemy. Vector two dot zero dot get type. See if that works. Oh, I know what went wrong. Forgot to add the parentheses. Okay, so just make sure to add parentheses right there. Okay, so I'm going to set alive to equal fault, and we want to set some things for the enemy as well. So health o dot. Actually, let's go make. Go ahead and make that 
make a new method enemy. So I'm gonna go to the bottom of enemy and put a public avoid damage. Damage. And it's gonna take in an int DMG or short for damage. And this is basically just going to be uh, L minus equal DMG or damage. So this is just going to damage it. Okay. And then, yeah. And then we can do whatever we want here. If we want to add some blood effects or whatever we want. So I'm just going to call that method O dot damage. Do we make that public? Oh, okay, actually, we, it's an object, so it doesn't have that method, so we have to convert it to a enemy, so, enemy dot damage, what, okay, oh, dot, oh, that is weird. Okay, let's check again. Yeah, looks right. Okay, let's try this. Okay, let's try this. Uh, O, or enemy, E equals enemy, O. Hey, mommy, you only had one. That, that would convert it to uh, an enemy. So now let's call the damage variable. So let's like damage it by three or something like that. Cannot convert void. Oops. Okay. There you go. Get rid of that. And that should be good. So it should damage our enemy. So let's go ahead and test this. We're way over time. It's probably the longest video yet. Okay, seems not to be working. Well, uh, let's fix that in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching and appreciate a rating. And see you next